up YouTube? Topaz Yates back for another mixtape review and this one is to that Lil Doug Love Songs for the Streets and I'ma give this one the yellow light man because I really enjoy the concept of what he's doing here because Love Songs for the Streets are not exactly love songs here dude like honestly the only times that he's talking about a particular woman in all of these songs would be that song Like an Uzi where that's all just centered around just having sex with a particular woman not really a relationship or actual love there and that song where were you with us ultimately pointing out these women and how unloyal they actually are on how they'll come around you only when you look like you about to shine and all that but ultimately when you down on the ground and you trying to grind your way up then they ain't rocking with you and which that's honestly some real talk about the hood like this is the closest thing to love songs that you are going to get really what this project is all about man is the cases that people that he knew ultimately caught to the overall struggle that people born in poverty must live through to the betrayal that everybody impoverished must live through because everybody is trying to come up and the regrets that you ultimately have going through your life. And which that's a great concept man but ultimately flawed based on the music that he released on here. And which let's start from talking about that No Choice song. In which No Choice is him ultimately breaking down that he had no choice but to hustle. Go out there in the streets and try to build up his own name to build himself up to be able to move his family out because he was born impoverished. I mean if you were born without any resources then the only thing that you got is the hustle to try to push you up and push you out and such dude and if you ain't got that you're gonna be stuck there for the rest of your life so therefore he feel as though he had no excuse and no choice but to go out there and get it and he luckily got up out of it that pick your poison track was rather interesting as well because what he's doing on there is talking about specific types of people that are within the hood and such on how you need to deal with them in particular like he said you can deal with your family the people that you grew up with because real time they won't do that bad of stuff to you, man, because if they do, then they're going to have to hear that from their mother. They're going to have to hear that stuff from your mother and all the other family that they got to be around for the rest of their lives. They're going to be mad at them for doing you wrong. So therefore, they can't do you completely wrong, but yet they will betray you, man. Like, they're not actually fully down with you. They're really just around you. Or you can go hang with all of the killers and such. And with the killers, they're going to be out there getting it, man. They're going to try to get their money and whoever gets in their way, they'll knock them off. They'll do whatever they need to do in order to survive and come up. But the problem with dealing with them is, what happens when you don't do what they want you to do? Ultimately, you gotta pick your poison with what type of individuals you're gonna surround yourself with, and then use that to try to climb your way up out of where you're at. Now, I feel as though that mood I'm in was the best song on here, even though the concept of it wasn't as strong as many of the other songs on this project, because all he's ultimately talking about on this one is being in that mood to just floss on people, just to ball out, and he's just in that mood that I can get any chick that I ever want, no matter who it is, no matter who she's with. It's just overall with the production and the overall quality of the song, man, I feel as though it dominates and that is more important than the actual concept of what's going on here. And the last song I feel as though we need to talk about is that better track where he's ultimately talking about a relationship that he has with an individual saying, we deserve better than where we at right now and because we are this good, we could be out there doing big things instead of getting caught up in all of the typical stuff that you see all the time that people are getting caught up in. And I feel that 100% because if you were born in impoverished situations, man, you gotta have that feeling. You gotta, you gotta feel as though the quality of what you're kicking out is much better than everybody else, so therefore you deserve to get better than what everyone else is doing, and that's going to push you to the level in which you deserve to be. Overall, it's a well thought out project that I feel as though could have been done better on the musical side of it, man. So therefore, I'm gonna give this joint man a 5 out of 10. But a quick recap here, man. The pop that I'm taking for this is how well thought out the concept was like he actually sat down thought about this man and actually made it really work but yet the negative is the quality of the music could have been much stronger to take this to a whole nother level but this concludes today's review man and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Lord Lorenz before we jump into the news and then jump to an article from downloadpass.com said that he's better than Tupac where he is right now, man. And I already know a lot of people are ready to just go ahead and slam him for saying such things. But let's take emotion out of it. Is he legitimately more lyrical than what Tupac was in his career? And honestly, 
I would believe so because quite frankly, the game has continued to progress from when Tupac died and such, man. Like, the skill set that you needed to have in order to get put on back in those days are not like it is today. Now, I'm not including all of the terrible mumble rappers and all of that, because let's keep that frank as well, man. There was terrible rappers back in Tupac's day that got put on as well. We're talking about the more lyrical individuals within the game right now, and I would say because the game has gotten more fierce, in order for you to come up on that kind of level, man, then I I would say that he naturally would have to have more skills than what Tupac had back in those days. Now whether he should have said that or not, that's on you, but ultimately I feel as though that's just the natural state of hip hop. Things are supposed to get better as you go. Like the more lyrical artists today are supposed to be more lyrical than those in the past. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPass.com and today's article is about you as an individual can rise even though this world looks as though it's falling. Because when you look at guys like Donald Trump ever Everybody is trying to sign off on him, especially now since he addressed all of Congress and all of that. People trying to say that he won and all of that nonsense when you can obviously see this world is going down in flames if you're going to normalize Donald Trump. But don't let this get you down because I see most people looking at it like, man, this world is doomed. What can I do? You as an individual can still come up. You still have the opportunity to do whatever you want to do out here, man. Even though things are not looking good for the world you can actually make your own lane. I mean, we're gonna continue to fight injustice and all that, man, but in the end, you got to be self-sufficient on your own, and you can go out and do that right now. All of this stuff that's happening in the world, it has little effect on you. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.